serving today? Who you work for? Who do black people work for? The people that work for myself. You work for yourself, but guess what? You still serving your enemies. When we need food, we have to depend on our enemies. That's right. Huh? Who own the reservoirs? Our enemies. Who own the cotton fields? It's damn sure you know black people. And even if you have your own self-employment business, it's selling a lot of politics. You have to pay something called taxes. That's right. Tribute. So that's how you know you're not free. You pay tribute to the people that rule over you. You see us walking about now? We thinking we free. But we still in mental chaos. We don't know who we are. When you know your forefathers who was in that yoke, he know his name was Jeremiah Israel. That's right. And today what he call himself? He call himself Black Republican. How are you doing, my brother? I am you. How are you doing? What's your name, you? Monkeyba. Huh? Monkeyba. Monkeyba, nice to meet you, brother. You know what we're teaching out here? I see it. What's your nationality? You're not smoking crap. Philippine. You're not doing no Philippine. dope over here. You see that? Crap. Even in Philippines, we have blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We scattered in all nations of the earth. You understand? But God said that would happen to us in Deuteronomy 28, 64. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28. In verse 64, oh, you know God prophesied that our people are going to be scattered in slavery in the Philippines as well. Lord, been slaves. Huh? Uh -huh. Our problem is we don't know how to take our mentality out of a slave's mentality. Uh -huh. and We're too busy being dependent on these Europeans for Very welfare. Good. For, for, for everything that they give us. Hey, I like you. Understand, on, we are black people. We That's run it. this planet. Come, we come, allow come, them come. people to come in you know and, and take us apart. Come closer, I like you. I like you. I said enough, I gotta no, go. No, 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 I'm gonna show you. God said something, you know why? Why we have a mentality of a slave. I'm gonna show you why right here. Deuteronomy 28 and 48. Come on, Deuteronomy 28 and 48. You know what? Where is the beginning of us getting broken into that mindset? Right here. Read. Therefore, shalt thou serve thy enemies. And this is a prophecy of what God said would happen to us, that we're gonna be mentally broken, right? And be thinking as slaves. Read on. Again. Therefore, shalt thou serve thy enemies. So he said, I'm gonna send, start at 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God. He said, because you don't want to serve the God of the Bible. Today, we don't follow God according to how we're supposed to follow him. We don't keep God's commandments. You know. Even you, you got to come back to God's commandments. That's right. Because we don't serve God, what he did, what God did. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and gladness of heart. Come on. For the abundance of all things. Because God going to set us to rule the earth. That's, That's what right. he told our forefathers. That's, That's right. the abundance of all things. Because we didn't keep the commandments when he gave us the prophecies of the blessings we're going to get. That's right. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. No, we got to serve who? Thine enemies. Who are we serving today? Who you work for? Who do black people work for? The people One, that I work, work for myself. All right, two. Look, look, look. Let me show you. All right, you work for yourself, but guess what? You still serve your enemies. I'm gonna prove that to you right now. Because I work for myself as well, but we are still serving our enemies. Let's prove it to you. Right. Therefore, therefore shall thou serve thine enemy. Read with the Lord to sin against thee. God send them against us and they conquered us in slavery. That's right? right? Read on. In hunger. And when we need food, we have to depend on our enemies. That's huh? right. Huh? Because if they cut the food, you have to go and work to get money to buy food from who? The people who own all the farms. That's the, right. Where I be, wheat, whatever. That's what God said. You serve your enemies in what? In hunger. When you need food, you have to go to your enemies. And in thirst. When you need anything to drink, water, who own the reservoirs? Our enemies. Read on. And in nakedness. Who own the cotton fields? It's damn sure ain't no black people. You understand that? That's what God talking about. So you serving your enemies still. Read on. And in the what of all things. And even if you have your own self-employment business, it's selling the want of all things. 
you have to pay something called taxes, that's right. tribute. So that's how you know you're not free. You're paying tribute to the people that rule over you, right. right? And guess what? That's a lot of taxes that we pay as a people. But let me finish. This is the point that I want to make. Come on. And he shall put a yoke of iron. And he, your enemy, that's because right. you said we gotta get, we gotta be break from the mental chains, right? And he, your enemy, shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. What was the purpose of the yokes of iron on the slave's neck? The physical yokes. Huh? God gonna tell you. Read that apart again. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Read on. Until he hath destroyed thee. Until he hath destroyed you spiritually. Right. Mentally. Right. Because get, notice he said until. Meaning he can let you go free to run around America now. Because you destroyed right. mentally. You don't know you the Israelites. That's right. You don't know who your God is. That's right. Read that part again until, until he hath destroyed thee. That's the proof. You see us walking about now? We thinking we free, but we still in mental chains. We don't know who we are. The yokes of iron was to destroy us from the knowledge of God, from knowing who we are. Right. When you know your forefathers who was in that yoke, he knew his name was Jeremiah Israel. That's right. And today, what he call himself? He call himself Black Republican. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.